God's blessings on all of you on this fourth Sunday of the year. Have you ever sat to get a portrait done of yourself? Near the Jahangir Art Gallery in the city of Mumbai, there are scores of artists who will get that done for a few hundreds of rupees. Elsewhere in different places of the world, tourists have their portraits sketched or painted with important monuments as a backdrop. The art of portraying someone well on canvas is a very special one. If we happen to be familiar with the person who is being portrayed, we instinctively know by looking at the portrait whether it's a masterpiece or not. There is more involved in portraying someone well than representing accurately the physical features of the person. A good portrait artist will always capture something of the spirit of the person. The Beatitudes in today's Gospel reading can be seen as a portrait of a disciple of Jesus. Significantly, Jesus goes up a hill to present this portrait. In the Old Testament, Moses went up Mount Sinai and came down with the law. Here Jesus comes down a mountain, having presented a way to live. Basically, Jesus paints a picture of what it means to be his disciple. More fundamentally, the Beatitudes are a type of self-portrait of Jesus himself. They describe his core attitudes and values. We know from the Gospels that he, more than anyone else, is poor in spirit, trusting in God before all else. He is gentle in that he is firmly committed to God's purpose, yet without any trace of pride and arrogance. He is the one who moans because people are not doing what God wants and who himself hungers and thirsts to do God's will. He is merciful to all who are broken in body and spirit. He is pure in heart in that his heart is not divided but is totally given over to the love of God and the service of all God's children. He is the peacemaker who seeks by his life and his death to reconcile all people to God and to each other. He is the one who was prepared to be persecuted in doing God's will and in the carrying out of God's purpose. If the Beatitudes are a portrait of Jesus, they also are a portrait of what we are called to become as his followers. When Jesus spoke these Beatitudes, his audience were men and women like ourselves and he was declaring them blessed because to some extent at least they fitted the portrait that he was presenting. We are all called to be poor in spirit, always trusting in God before all else. As disciples, we are challenged to be gentle in speech and behavior without any indication of pride and arrogance. We moan when people are not doing what God wants. We hunger and thirst to do God's will. We are called to be merciful to all who are broken in body and spirit especially in our families and communities. To be pure in heart, which is totally given over to the love of God and the service of all God's children. In a world suffering from violence and oppression, we are called to be peacemakers and bridge builders. And in the process, we can be targeted and persecuted for doing God's will and for carrying out His purpose. In the first reading, we are reminded that obedience, integrity and humility will be blessed by God. The responsorial psalm highlights God's presence in the life of the oppressed, the hungry, the prisoner, the blind, the depressed, the stranger, the widow and the orphan and the just. Because, as the psalmist says, in reaching out to these, God keeps faith forever. In the second reading, St. Paul reminds the Corinthians to boast of the Lord who chooses the foolish and the weak to shame the strong. In the eyes of the secular world, the Beatitudes of Jesus may appear far-fetched and unlikely. But then the Lord reflected these in his life and ministry because his entire focus was on love for God and his people. Let us then, as his disciples, be filled with love for him as we strive to enjoy the kingdom of heaven. Amen. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.